Hi, Andrew. So I want to show you how to filter out um, the fittings, tanks, and pipes using the the tanks uh, UUID or unique identifier. So, so for instance, yeah, we, we've got a number of your system designs. Let's say we wanted to filter out this one and just show that one in the layout. So let's go see which one that is first of all. So I'm just going to select sites and then use my um, feature identifier tool and then just click on this site and i see that uuid there okay so that's i need to filter out that particular site so let's actually filter out the site p2684 so now that one is easy enough filter and then it's filter equal to and then inside single inverted commas p uh what did i say it was 2684 and then okay there we go so now all the others have disappeared okay i'm just zooming in slightly but the the fittings and the pipes for the remaining sites are still there so what we need to then do is just go in and and change the or set a set set a filter or for the, the tanks and fittings as per that particular pipe. So, I mean, as, as per the UUID for that site. So we can filter out, let's just double, let's just click on the tanks as well here. We'll select the tanks. Okay, and then now we can use the tanks UUID, which is this one here. So I'm gonna right click on that and just say, copy attribute value. And then I'm just going to run that filter, but for the UUID for the tanks, the so filter and it's UUID equal to, and then that copied attribute value. Okay, so there, that tank's still there. But now we need to do the same for the foreign key or the UUID underscore T for fittings. So now it's filter, and now it's UUID underscore T equal to. And then that same one, and the same for pipes. So UUID underscore T equal to there. Okay, so now we've got the sites, and then the tanks, and then all the fittings and pipes that are linked as child features of the parent tanks using that foreign key or the unique identifier for tanks um, that's been filtered out. Okay, so now if we zoom out, we shouldn't be able to see anything else. So, that, so what we can then do is go to the, the layout manager. And then what we'll need to do here is we just need to make sure that we select the, select the layout and then zoom to the extent of the map canvas. There we go, so that takes us in there. And now because the legend is filtering um, on only showing items inside the linked map, then it'll only show the features from our filtered features. Now let's see, why is this one, this one, this one actually shouldn't be showing up like that. That's a bit confusing. I'll see why that's causing a problem now. Actually, that was easy enough. All I needed to do there. So it was showing um, a number of different coordinates for different sites. I just needed to refresh the table data. And then by refreshing the table data, it pulls through the coordinates for the featured site only. And I see this one needs to be edited because this is actually now the site. What did we say it was? I can't even remember. Two. Oh, there it is there. Let's see. 2684. So that is the only thing you will need to edit in the legend. The other things should pull through from the, the attributes and then maybe move that across and then change the scale here so that it uh, is better, a better fit for the size of uh, paper that we're using. Just refresh that. And actually that's pretty close, maybe too big, but that kind of works. So then you can save that out as a PDF.
Yeah, so that's how you can use the filtering option and the foreign key and unique identifier to filter out features that are specific to a particular site. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.